Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the UAE President, Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, marking his country's 46th National Day. His Majesty the King extended deepest congratulations and good wishes to the UAE leader, wishing him abundant health and happiness and his people further progress and prosperity. He commended the deep-rooted fraternal and outstanding relations binding the two brotherly countries and people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa congratulated the UAE President Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan on his country 46th National Day in which he extended good wishes to the UAE leader, wishing him abundant health and happiness and his people further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness hailed the deep-rooted fraternal and outstanding relations binding the two brotherly countries and people. His Royal Highness also sent a congratulatory cable to the Vice President, Prime Minister and Dubai ruler Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum and to the Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and UAE Deputy Supreme Commander Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also extended cables of congratulations to the UAE Federal Supreme Council members, Emirates rulers and Crown Princes. His Royal Highness the Prime His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, sent a cable of congratulations to the UAE leader Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan on his country's 46th National Day, in which he extended good wishes to him, wishing him abundant health and happiness and his people further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness hailed the deep rooted fraternal and outstanding brotherly relations between the two countries and people. His Royal Highness also sent a congratulatory cable to the Vice President, Prime Minister and Dubai ruler Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum and to the Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and UAE Deputy Supreme Commander Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also extended cables of congratulations to the UAE Federal Supreme Council members, Emirates rulers and Crown Princes. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the U.S. President Donald Trump at the White House. His Royal Highness conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the President, wishing the U.S. every success under his leadership. He also highlighted the long-standing ties between Bahrain and the United States, which are based on trust, mutual respect and shared principles and values. U.S. President Trump expressed his honor at hosting the Crown Prince at the White House and reaffirmed the long and excellent relationship between Bahrain and the United States, which he said would only strengthen further as a great friend of the U.S. The President thanked His Royal Highness for the recent commercial agreements with Bahrain, which he said were greatly appreciated by the U.S. and were a tribute to their relationship with the Kingdom. His Royal Highness spoke about the strength of defense relations between the two countries over the last 70 years. He reaffirmed Bahrain's commitment as a consistent and unwavering military partner to the U.S. and as a host to the U.S. Navy's Fifth Fleet. The Crown Prince and the President noted that the extension to the U.S.-Bahrain Defense Cooperation Agreement signals a new phase in the U.S. oldest and strongest partnership in the region. U.S. President Trump and Crown Prince Salman discussed bilateral trade between the United States and Bahrain and underpinned by the U.S.-Bahrain Free Trade Agreement, which supports job creation in both countries. They welcomed the announcement of Bahrain's largest ever tendering process, which has witnessed three contracts worth $10 billion awarded to U.S. companies Boeing, Bechtel Engineering, General Electric, and Technip, FMC. The agreements include the completion of a $3.4 billion contract for the supply of F-16s to the Bahrain Defense Force to further strengthen defense capabilities between the two nations. His Royal Highness thanked President Trump for his recent visit to the U Saudi Arabia, where he gave a keynote address at the Arab Islamic American Summit. The visit had demonstrated the United States commitment to regional and international security. The President and the Crown Prince discussed ways in which the two countries can combat terrorism and extremism. During discussions on international issues of shared concern, His Royal Highness welcomed President Trump's firm position in holding Iran's leadership to account. The leaders emphasized the importance of countering Iran's destabilizing activities throughout the region, including Bahrain. President Trump asked His Royal Highness to extend his best wishes to His Majesty King Hamad. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister met the U.S. Vice President Mike Pence. 
during the meeting, His Royal Highness and the U.S. Vice President welcomed the enduring strength of bilateral relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United States. His Royal Highness noted that the nation's shared economic and security interests are built upon shared values of openness, freedom, and coexistence. The Crown Prince and U.S. Vice President reviewed the security challenges currently faced by the Middle East region, agreeing that the U.S.-Bahrain relationship remains central to both countries' ability to address regional threats. The Crown Prince welcomed the 70 years of defense cooperation between the two nations, stating that the strength of the partnership is also evidenced by the long-standing U.S. naval facility in Bahrain. His Royal Highness and the Vice President also discussed the joint initiatives, including Bahrain's leading role in countering illicit funding of terrorist groups. They noted the vital collaboration between the Central Bank of Bahrain and U.S. authorities to cut off funding for a range of activities and groups, including Daesh and its affiliates. The Crown Prince emphasized that the Bahraini-American Free Trade Agreement has facilitated huge uplifts in opportunities and private sector growth generated by tariff-free two-way trade. His Royal Highness and the Vice President signed an agreement to acquire F-16 fighter jets for Bahrain, which forms a vital component of Bahrain's Defense Force combat readiness strategy. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa welcomed a series of cross-sector trade agreements between Bahrain and U.S. companies valued at $10 billion. The agreements in the fields of economy, trade, industry, oil and aviation were signed on the sideline of His Royal Highness's official visit to the United States during a reception organized by the Bahrain Economic Development Board. In cooperation with the American Chamber of Commerce and the Bahrain American Business Council. His Royal Highness confirmed that under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Kingdom of Bahrain is constantly pursuing opportunities to advance bilateral trade ties in order to drive development and progress while meeting the aspirations of Bahrain's citizens. His Royal Highness noted that the 10 year free trade agreement with the United States has served to strengthen Bahrain US relations by increasing cooperation across a range of economic and commercial areas. His Royal Highness highlighted that as a result of Bahrain's open and innovative business environment, over 200 American companies have chosen to operate in the kingdom, noting in particular the recent announcement that Amazon Web Services AWS is due to open its first regional headquarters in Bahrain. His Royal Highness went on to note that Bahrain's development efforts are focused on creating positive opportunities for businesses by reshaping the role of the public sector from the main engine of the economy to a private sector regulator and partner. His Royal Highness concluded that trade deals signed with U.S. companies are consistent with Bahrain's ambitions to strengthen key strategic sectors including financial services, logistics, industrials, entrepreneurship, information technology and tourism. Trade agreements and memorandums of understandings signed during the event included an agreement between Bahrain Petroleum Company Babco and Technip FMC regarding the Babco modernization program signed by the Minister of Oil Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa and the CEO of Technip FMC Douglas Verdhart. An agreement between Alba and Bechtel regarding the Alba Line 6 expansion project which will result in Alba becoming the world's largest single site aluminium smelter. The agreement was signed by Alba representative Tim Mori and the chairman and CEO of Bechtel Group Inc. Brendan Bechtel. An MOU between Alba and General Electric regarding the implementation of the fourth gas turbine unit at Power Plant 5, signed by Alba representative Tim Mori and the Chief Financial Officer of International and Vice President at GE, Todd Lamar Smith. An amendment to the textile trade protocol within the Bahrain U.S. Free Trade Agreement, signed by the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zaid bin Rashid Al Zayani, and by the U.S. Assistant Trade Representative for Europe and the Middle East. An agreement between the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and the Small Business Administration, SBA, to cooperate on small business growth initiatives signed by the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and the Administrator of the SBA, Linda McMahon. During the event, the agreement between Gulfair and GE was welcomed by the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and Chairman of Gulfair and Vice President and Senior Counsel at GE, Karan Krishna Bhatia. Also during the event, the first edition of the Bahraini U.S. Free Trade Agreement Award was presented by the Honorary President of the Bahrain American Business Council, Khaled bin Rashid Al Zayani, and the Senior Vice President for Middle East and Turkey Affairs at the American Chamber of Commerce, Kuch Chuksi. The winners of the Free Trade Agreement Award were Alba and Mondelez.
The chairman of the Bahrain Economic Development Board, Khaled Ar-Rumehi, delivered a speech in which he expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, for supporting the award, which underscores Bahrain's keenness to strengthen bilateral partnership in the economic and commercial sectors. Mr. Ar-Rumehi stressed the EDB's commitment to continue its outreach program aimed at familiarizing international companies with the kingdom's business and legislative environment, which encourages growth. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the Chairman and CEO of Bechtel Group Inc, Brendan Bechtel, the Administrator of the Small Business Administration, Linda McMahon, the Chief Financial Officer of International and Vice President at General Electric Company, Todd Lamar Smith, the Vice President and Senior Counsel at General Electric Company, Karan Krishnabhatia, the Chief Executive Officer of Technip FMC, Douglas Ferdhurt, and the Executive Vice President of Global Integrated Supply Chain at Mondelez International, Daniel Myers, at the U.S. Chamber of Commerce in Washington, D.C. His Royal Highness highlighted the positive levels of ongoing cooperation between Bahrain and the U.S. enterprises, while noting the deep-rooted bilateral ties that exist between the two countries. He also highlighted the government's commitment to fulfilling the strategic development goals underpinning Bahrain's economic vision 2030 and its fun foundational principles of sustainability, competitiveness, and fairness. The Crown Prince stressed the importance of continuing to secure international investments in order to support Bahrain's ambitious development goals and deliver even further prosperity for its citizens. His Royal Highness went on to acknowledge that the series of recently announced agreements amounting to $10 billion will directly benefit the private sector in both Bahrain and the U.S., Wide-ranging Bahrain-U.S. agreements have been announced during an event held in collaboration between the American Chamber of Commerce and the U.S. Bahrain Business Council.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to the United States of America, Prince Khalid bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. The meeting took place on the sideline of His Royal Highness's official visit to the Washington DC. During the meeting, His Royal Highness underscored the two kingdoms' joint commitment to further strengthening bilateral ties across all levels. His Royal Highness highlighted the role of His Majesty King Hamad Naisa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques in further supporting the long standing and comprehensive ties between the two countries. He went on to note the leading role the Saudi Crown Prince and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud, plays in developing Saudi Arabia's economy through the adoption of strategies aimed at enhancing KSA's global reach. The Crown Prince went on to note Bahrain's high regard for Saudi Arabia and its pioneering role in combating terrorism, supporting regional security and upholding values of peace and prosperity. His Royal Highness and the Ambassador then discussed opportunities to advance bilateral and international cooperation to counter terrorism and extremist ideologies. His Royal Highness emphasized the integral role the Ambassador plays in developing and reinforcing these ties. In response, the Saudi Ambassador expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and expressed appreciation of His Royal Highness support to further strengthening bilateral ties. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of an Najma Handball Club's winning of the Asian Handball Club League Championship hence qualifying for the World Championship. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that this achievement is the result of the continued support of the leadership to the sports and youth movement in the Kingdom. He praised the efforts and the performance of a Najma club players, highlighting their commitment to positively represent the Kingdom in this forum. His Highness also extended congratulations to the Najma club president, members of the board of directors, players and the technical and administrative teams on this achievement, wishing them further success. The Minister of Youth and Sports, Hisham Al Joda, received the Najma Club handball team upon their return from India after winning the Asian Handball Club League Championship and qualifying for the World Championship. The Minister conveyed the congratulations of the personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and his pride in the achievement. The Minister hailed the efforts of the team and praised the achievement they made. He also expressed thanks and appreciation to the wise leadership for supporting the youth and sports sector in which it contributes to achieve further progress in this field. He stressed the need to set a strategic plan for the team to prepare them for the World Championship. He added that the accomplishment made by the team reflects the high level and development of the Bahraini sport. In the presence of the Deputy Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club organized the fifth race of the this season, which was held over the cups of Bahrain Oil Company, Babco, and Credit Max Company at the club race course on Sakhir. Present were a number of the Royal Highnesses, representatives of the sponsoring companies, and horse racing fans.
The President of the Supreme Council for Health, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, inaugurated the events of the first regional pre implantation genetics diagnosis conference and PGD unit at the Princess Al Jawhara Center in the presence of the Minister of Health, Faika bin Saeed Al Saleh, featuring 17 participants representing several countries. The President of the Supreme Council for Health affirmed that the inauguration of the conference comes as a result of the Council's support for health innovative sciences that are based on the radical treatment of genetic diseases in the Bahraini society. For his part, the director of Al Jawhara Center, Professor Maurice Bukhit, asserted that the center has made profound scientific discoveries and researches since its establishment. Pre-implantation genetic diagnosis is a practice used before the implantation of an embryo in order to categorize genetic defects within embryos made via IVF to prevent certain diseases from passing from a couple to their child. This indeed is the medicine of the future and the aim of the first PGD conference in the Gulf was to cover all aspects of reproductive medicine leading to PGD in hopes of having the coming generation free of inherited genetic diseases. I think that is very, uh, very important, very good st step actually for Bahrain because that's actually a research uh, center and research center actually. We are actually developing our research in uh, medicine and you know in different aspects, and that's one of the most important steps actually in this side and the. Uh, and uh, Bahrain, and actually, it is actually tackling uh, important, you know, uh, scientific problem and at the same time social problem. In Bahrain, which is we have a lot of, uh, you know, this genetic problems and uh, hereditary diseases, and this center actually uh, tackling this uh, problem. It's the only PGD center here in Bahrain, and uh, will serve uh, the whole region. And it is also very easy to access uh, Bahrain for those who would like to come from uh, other places. And uh, also being in a research center for molecular medicine, this is a big advantage that you combine research and development to the service, which will allow us really to dig in uh, more scientific, to get better molecular diagnosis and to help people. Al Jawhara Center is a specialized center in molecular medicine with a particular interest in genetics and inherited diseases, providing clinical services, molecular diagnostics, and research. The Al Jawhara Center vision is to be a leading molecular medicine center, uniquely positioned to serve the health needs of the GCC citizens and globally recognized for excellence in research and development, clinical services, and health education. Within this vision lies one of the major strategic missions of the AJC, which is the establishment of a PGD unit for providing sophisticated PGD procedures at international standards to be a referral lab from across the region. Hopefully we'll be able to help couples have healthy babies, especially now we're working with sickle cell disease and beta thalassemia. So hopefully couples who are carriers of those diseases, instead of having the risk of having 25% chance of having an affected child, hopefully we'll be able to help them choose embryo which is not affected, not a carrier. Uh, we know that this is uh, one of the latest uh, technology now and science, uh, especially in Bahrain because Bahrain is well known to have a lot of genetic diseases and uh, this is going to be a, a baseline for the future medicine uh, and we are very proud to be the first country in the GCC to start these uh, initiatives. As a medical student, it's a great honor and privilege to be here today. This is the reason why I chose to pursue medicine in the first place. I believe the PGD unit opening will change endless lives throughout the region and will help families that suffer from genetic diseases. The inauguration of the first ever PGD conference in the Kingdom of Bahrain marks endless possibilities in the future for families suffering with genetic diseases. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shogh Mohammed. The Minister of Housing, Basim Yagoub Al Hamar, announced the Ministry's decision to allocate 50 housing services to female beneficiaries listed on their waiting list on the occasion of the Bahraini Women Day. Al Hamar said the Ministry's allocation of 50 housing services to the female beneficiaries comes as a result of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's support of the housing projects through providing adequate accommodation for citizens and special care for women by Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa. It also comes as part of the Ministry's appreciation for the role of Bahraini women as a key partner in society and a key supporter of the development process led by His Majesty the King. Gravity Indoor Skydiving held an opening ceremony for one of the biggest competitions Gravity has ever hosted. More details in this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. 
Gravity Indoor Skydiving will hold the ultimate indoor skydiving competition in the kingdom. Flight Fighters, which will take place from December 2nd to 3rd, plays an important part in Bahrain's preparations to host the third FAI World Cup of Indoor Skydiving. The main reason of having this is basically to increase the uh, awareness of this new sport, this unique niche sport, and to have more flyers from around uh, the world to know about this sport. Uh, and to, uh, besides that, it will definitely uh, boost the tourism as well because we're having people uh, coming as well to uh, cheer the competitors and take part of this uh, amazing competition. We have around uh, 70 competitors and they're competing in different disciplines. We have seven different, different disciplines. Um, this competition, as I've mentioned earlier, is kind of a pre-comp or a, a, a test for our uh, big competition that will happen in October 2000. 18. We have judges from uh, around the world, around uh, 12 judges, and we've uh, set, set up this whole facility um, to make sure that the competitors will have the best experience and to basically uh, raise the bar for such competitions worldwide. The competition will witness more than 60 male and female indoor skydiving athletes from around the world, out of which includes the first youngest Bahraini female flyer. The participating teams underwent intense training at Gravity's Wind Tunnel, which are all competing under different disciplines. It's a lot of pressure at first. Um, the tunnel was is not very common here. This is the first tunnel in Bahrain. Um, when I started flying, I never thought and I would actually compete and do this as a sport, but now I enjoy it and I'm ready for a big adventure. I want to gain the most experience possible. I want to get my routine correct and do everything correct and in the most efficient way so that the judges will have a good impression on me. I'm happy, good to represent Bahrain. I always wanted to do something like an Olympic sport. Hopefully the sport will also go to the Olympics. Gravity's Flight Fighters competition aims to showcase the greatest performances from the competitors which will contribute to raising the standard of indoor skydiving competitions in the kingdom and the region. Gravity Flight Fighters is here gathering the world's best skydivers here in the kingdom. Reporting for Bahrain International, 